We're now up to question four, which is creating the queries. Um, there's five queries to create, and for each of these queries, uh, you should uh, first uh, you should do the first step uh, of using the wizard to select the table and the fields that uh, are going to be selected from that table, um, and uh, also to name the query. And then afterwards, we're going to customize the query in design view uh, to, uh, to conform with the uh, criteria for the specific query. So query one is list all the books that are published by Prentice Hall using title, year, list price, and publisher fields of the books table. Um, and we're going to save this query as, the Prentice, as Prentice Hall books. So let's do that. Create the query using the wizard. And the table is going to be books. And the fields that we want are title, and year, and list price, and publisher. The order uh, somewhat matters because the order that we specify it here is going to be the order that's going to come in the uh, eventual table. Um, okay, uh, now we're going to go to next, and it's every, all of these queries are going to be detail queries. Um, and now, what title do we want? We want Prentice Hall Books. We're going to open the query to view information. Um, no, we will not, because that will just show us the results. We want to see uh, the query design uh, to be able to specify more things about the query, namely the criteria and uh, how we're sorting it in ascending or descending order. So we click on finish. Um, so here we have the books table. Here are all the fields that uh, we use. And uh, we want to sort the query in descending order according to list price. So here's list price, here's sort, we say descending, and uh, that's it. Is uh, Oh, we also only want the ones that are published by Prentice Hall. So here's publisher, we type here Prentice Hall. Um, and, oops, and here we have our query. And we can now save it. And if you want to run it, you can just confirm that you can have only books by Prentice Hall in descending order. Here, see everything is by Prentice Hall, and it goes from 1997 to 1996. It's in descending order. So that was query one, the Prentice Hall books query. And here's our first query. Um, query two lists all the books whose ISBN begins with a zero using the ISBN, title, author, year, and list price fields of the books table. And we're going to save this query as ISBN starting with zero. Uh, remember, this is uh, matching to a specific text. We're going to say some. Uh, we want it to effectively say like zero star with zero star in, in uh, quotes. Um, so we're, we're going to create the query in using the wizard. And once again, it's the books table. Uh, we want the ISBN. We want the title. The author the year, and the list price. We don't care about the publisher in this case. And it's a detail query. And the name of this will be ISBN starting with zero. And then we'll modify the query design, and we say finish. So once again, here's our books table. Here are the fields that uh, we want. We could resize various things to see more information. Um, and we want it specifically, here we have ISBN, the criteria should be zero star. It's automatically going to put quotes around it and it's going to put the word like there, but it means it starts with zero and then takes anything else. See, like zero star, it automatically changes it to this. Um, and now we click on save. You can run it um, just to confirm that it works. Here's a whole bunch of numbers. Uh, a whole bunch of ISBN numbers and a whole bunch of titles. All of these numbers start with zero. If we would look at the original table, you'll see that there are some ISBN numbers starting with one. None of those are present here. Uh, next, query three. List all the books that are published after 1995 or whose price is greater than $25. So if you have the word or, you notice it's bold. Um, or means use separate uh, rows for the criteria. And after means greater than, or possibly greater than, or equal to. Uh, we're going to assume that after means 1995 or after. Um, so the way we will do this, um, well, we need to use the title, year, list price, and publisher fields of the books table. Sort the query in descending order according to the published date, and save this query as new books. So queries, create a query by using the wizard. 
uh, is from the books table and uh, we want to use the title the year the list price and the publisher and um, next it's a detail so it's a detail uh, query and we want to name this new books they're new because they're from 1995 and after and uh, it's going to be in descending order uh, of the published date, so we're going to get the newer books first. Uh, so we're going to modify the query design. So so far, all we've done is we've named the query and we've selected the fields and we've selected the table. Um, but now we need to put in the criteria. So uh, it needs to be after 1995. So you could either say greater than or possibly greater than or equal to, depending on how you interpret after. Greater than or equal to 1995 is the uh, year, or see, so it's a different uh, row, or um, it's greater than twenty-five dollars. The list price, so greater than twenty-five, um, and we want to sort this query in descending order according to published dates. So your sort, we're going to choose in descending order, and we could save this query now. And if you want to run it, you'll see here are a bunch of books. All these years are greater than nineteen ninety-five. 1996, 1997, um, and there are a couple of books that are actually less than 1995, see 1994, 1993, 1992, um, but if you look at their list price, all of those books are greater than $25. Let's close this. Uh, so now we have, uh, that was new, the new books query. Query 4, list all the products whose units on order is greater than 20. Um, well, that's the criteria, so we'll get to that later. Using the product name, unit price, and units on order fields of the products table, sort the query in ascending order according to the unit price field to save this query as big order. So create a query by using the wizard. Um, what is the table? The table is the products table. Here's products. Um, and we want to choose the product name, the unit price, and the units on order. And you see it's going to be in this order that we double clicked to move them over. Um, even though in the original available fields, units on order was before unit price, here unit price is before units on order. Um, okay, um, and we're gonna go next, next. We wanna name this big order. And we modify the query design, and we will resume in a second.